in the 50s, there was big debates about whether fluoride in drinking water was used for nefarious purposes. And the consensus of the scientific community and the public health community was that fluoride was necessary to prevent cavities. Recently, in the past decade or so, there have been some uh, research suggesting that fluoride in the drinking water at sufficiently high doses can actually have some uh, neurological effects, including impacts on the IQ of kids. If, the, if, it, if it is actually true that it does have this impact on, of IQ on kids, I mean, it's, it's, it's time to revisit it, that question, right? Um, and on the flip side, in the 50s, I don't think fluoride was widely in toothpaste. And people were brushing teeth less. There was sort of less, less, less focus on dental hygiene in the 50s than, what, than there is today, even for children. And so the, the marginal benefit from including fluoride in the drinking water may be less than it was given the widespread availability of fluoride in toothpaste now. When enough people and scientific uh, facts have changed, it's, it's time to revisit. The, the kinds of like recommendations that the public health made are not etched in stone forever. When the conditions change, the, the, the advice should change. Um, and I don't know where the, the, that debate's going to lead. It's not my specific expertise, but I do think that it's, it's worth having this discussion.